Hi everyone and welcome to the second half of my XP system tutorial. In the first half we done the back end coding of our XP bar and in this half we're going to look at showing that code in the graphical interface so we can see it on the screen for the player to see for themselves. So we're going to make the progress bars as you can see here which animate and chase towards each other. Okay, So we're going to do that today. So let's go into our work where we left off before and I'm going to create a whole new widget so I click on add new user interface widget blueprint and this is going to be called the HUD widget and the HUD widget is simply going to be pretty simple plain canvas okay don't have to touch it leave it as it is then you want to go add new another widget and this is going to be XP bar and this one is going to be slightly different because we don't need the canvas panel now so get rid of the canvas panel and the reason why I don't need a canvas panel is because canvas means it's going to be absolute layout you're going to place it and it's going to be there based on the screen we don't want XP bar to do that we want it to be placed where the player or designer wants them to be in the HUD um, in a moment so we'll get to that Instead of the canvas panel though, we're going to use an overlay. So type in overlay into your palette over here. Drag it into your XP bar. And with the overlay, what that means is anything inside of it is going to on stack on top of each other and overlay each other. Okay, Which we do want to do because we want to overlay two progress bars. So let's get them. Type in progress bar and drag it onto your overlay widget overlay panel down here. So you want two of them. And they'll show up in the top left hand corner, all itty bitty and tiny. So to change that, we need to stretch them. So go horizontally aligned fill and vertically aligned fill. And we'll change the name of this one. So the first one is going to be called the buffer bar. And we'll change the color of it to a dark blue, like so. The next one is going to be your actual XP bar. And similarly, you're going to stretch it to fill horizontally and vertically. And I'm going to leave it as that bright blue there. So, the first job is how to get them to show on top of each other. Because if I change the buffer bars percentage, nothing happens. The reason why it doesn't happen is because XP bar is on top of it. Okay, so you how XP bar appears, but XP buffer bar does not. That's because XP bar has this grey background. We need to get rid of the background for, of this one bar. So with XP bar selected, go scrolling up to where it says style and you'll see part of it saying background image. It could be collapsed like so. If it is, just click and expand it and you'll see draw as box. Just change that to none. So now if I change buffer bar, you'll see it appear. Excellent. That's what we want. Next job is the text. So we're going to go horizontal box. And we'll drag that onto our overlay. And this one again is itty bitty in the left hand corner. So we're going to change that to be on its horizontal alignment to fill up the whole entire space. And be center aligned in the overlay slot. Okay, so these control how it's aligned in the its parent slot. Which is in this case is the overlay. And a horizontal box basically means anything inside of it is going to be stacked horizontally. Like on a shelf. So in there we need a text widget into there like so and I'm going to call this one uh, level and then I want another horizontal box okay and put that inside our first horizontal box so this one is going to be keeping the text in the center so here on this horizontal box here where you see it's tiny let's call it set to auto change that to fill Okay, and that will fill the whole entire space. And then we'll change its alignment. So its alignment here, you see, is we want to change the center and center. And that will keep everything that we put into it in the center of this whole entire space. Okay. Inside here, we're going to put two texts in there. So drag text into a hot box. Drag another one. And then drag a third one. So you've got three. The first one is going to be our current xp so i'm going to call it current xp 
the middle one is going to be a slash. So I'm just going to go in the text field here. I'm not going to bother naming it. The text field here and do a space slash space. And that'll give me my little divider there. And the last one, I'm going to rename um, max XP. Okay. Click compile. So this is it designed. We now need to hook up each of these texts and the progress bars to the variety of um, uh, variables that we have in our inventory, uh, in our XP component. So on the graph over here, we need to get, first of all, the leveling component of the player. Okay. So on the event construct, we're going to, well, actually, first of all, we're going to go into variables and click plus variable. And we're going to go leveler or level uh, component. And the type it is is a level component. Level link system. There you go. And we will make that editable and expose on spawn. Click compile. And that means we can assign it to different things. So if you want it so enemies have their own le uh, leveling component and own level bars and all that, you can set that up here too. But this is going to be the players one. I'm going to skip all that and just do the players one. So on the event construct, we're going to drag level component out and choose set and hook that up. And we're going to get that from our player. So get the player character. And from there, we're going to cast to the first person character. So we can access its variables. And its variables we want is get leveling system. And I can plug that into there like so. Click compile. And that's a lot of the work done for us because we can go back to the designer now. Click on our buffer bar. And where it says percent, if you click on the bind button, you should see the level component variable we just made. And you should be able to see various things here. So we want the buffer XP for this one, which is buffer XP. Um, oh, no, sorry, don't, because buffer XP is not a percentage. We want to change that to a percentage. So remove binding and create binding. So we're creating a whole new binding for our uh, buffer bar XP. And it's very simple, just drag level component out. And from there, we're going to get buffer XP. And I'm also going to get from there, get current max XP. And you're going to divide buffer XP by the current max XP. Little on top of big will give you a uh, float between 0 and 1, which is a percentage, which is what we want. So plug that into there, click compile, and go back to your designer. And you should see that bind has now associated itself to our percentage value. So get buffer bar XP, percent, blah, blah, blah. Okay. The XP bar is a lot simpler because we can just click bind, level component, and current percentage. Okay, and that will do that one for us. Next are the text. So the level text, where it says content text, you'll see bind. Click on here and we'll create binding. And the binding we want to create is get the level of the level component. So get level component, get level. And you'll see get current level. And you can just click and drag that into the return value and it auto generates this to text uh, node. Click compile, close. And that's that one hooked up, get level text. And we're going to do the same for this one. So click bind, create binding level component get xp cut xp and hook that into return node like so and then finally the last text block will be our max xp so create binding level component get max xp plug it into there like so and that's it done We've done here, click compile and save, close that, go into your HUD widget, and if you go to user created now in the palette, you should see your XP bar, and you can drag that into your world. So I'm going to drag it into the world, make it anchored to the bottom, 
just place it there like so. Actually, let's put it in the corner. Bottom left hand corner, and click compile. Okie dokie, so that's that hooked up. We now need to get this HUD actually to this sharp on the screen. So I'm going to go into my player character. And there he is. And I'm just going to add this HUD widget. So to test this out, so I'm going to go begin play. Uh, create widget and we'll see hard widget and from there we can add to viewport click compile and if I click play you'll see it appears on the screen here so I've got 20 0 and 0 that's probably because I haven't set some va values up first so let's go back into my level system here so current level 1, level cap 20, yeah current XP, current max XP so current X max XP we need to change because if I go into my leveling system here right click edit max XP uh, on begin play we're going to calculate percentage and current XP divided by current max XP will get a 0 because both are 0 okay so we'll need to change that. So current max XP, default value, I'm going to set to 500. Uh, level cap should be 20. Current level should be 1. Current XP should be 0. Max XP 500. Percentage 0. Buffer XP 0. Let's go back into the game. And you can see now the level is now 1. And you can see the values are what they should be. 0, 500. So let's actually put in some way of testing this out. So I'm going to go into my player character here. I'm going to set up a simple tester with X key. And to add uh, XP to the player character, all you have to do is you can do it on the player here when they collide with a certain experience point. So when an enemy dies, you can cast to the first person character and call this function. So you just grab the leveling system component and you want to get add XP function and we can choose how much we want to add so I'm going to go 200 click compile play for X and you see it go up excellent and that will do it as I say you can custom well you should really customize all the graphics for yourself um, and this system will work pretty much anywhere um, because you can call that components particular function if you like and also don't forget you don't need to do this as a component you can put this straight onto the player character if you wish okay um that's it thank you for watching and i hope i see you next time in my next episode uh, so like subscribe and share and i'll see you next time bye bye Hi everyone, if you do like these videos and you have liked what I've done in the past and want to see what else I can do, um, all your support is greatly appreciated on YouTube. However, I do have a Patreon set up as well where you can support me even further. Money donated by yourselves will help me make better videos and better content, um, and more frequently, hopefully. Plus, it will help me develop my own projects. Currently, I'm in a project at the moment, and I'll hopefully be able to share that with you uh, soon. Um, if you do so, just, uh, choose to donate and subscribe to us on Patreon, uh, you do get access to videos two weeks ahead of time, plus there are many other rewards available to you too. So head on over to www.patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, and uh, thank you for your support, and I'll see you next time. Bye.